Buenos dias, San Diego. How are you? And everybody else in the U.S. and everywhere else. Oh my gosh, I know it's been a while since I did a video. Uh, it kind of took a little hiatus. I'm trying to get my life together. I'm on my way to work right now, so I figured I'd do this video. So um, my phone is shaky and jumpy because I'm on this thing that my husband bought me to um, hold my phone and stuff so that I'm not touching it and taking my eyes off the road and everything so if I don't use it I'm gonna hear from him so I don't want to hear from him so I'm gonna use it all right so what I want to share is that it's transformational Tuesday and last night my girlfriend Andrea and I went to go listen to Gloria Mayfield Banks and for those of you who don't know Gloria Mayfield Banks she is way up there Mary Kay like wow that's what she's known for okay knowing for saying wow that's where she is um, and she's out in Baltimore and she flew out here to San Diego thanks to all the ladies who made that happen um, and she was talking to us and just about having a quantum leap you know we all want to be successful we all want to do great things and we all want to have our friends with us but there are going to be challenges along the way and you know she gave us the exact tools that we need to sharpen and or to um, the decisions we have to make and part of having a transformation in your life is making a decision, even if it's tough. And one of the decisions I've had to make was getting off the fence, if that makes sense. I believe in a fence. You know, you have, you have your friends that you hang out with and everything, and that's good. You need them. They kind of just take you away from the stresses in life. And then you have the other you know, side where you have to grind in your, your different network of people. And so one of the decisions that I had to make that was hard was where do I want to be and what am I doing that's going to get me there? And part of that was the people that I'm hanging with or I was hanging with, where are they going and where am I going? Are we going in the same direction? Do we have the same goals to be successful? And having the same goals doesn't necessarily entail, um, you know, oh, I want to be, you know, I want to have a big white picket fence house and all of that it's just wanting more for yourself and doing what it takes to have more for yourself and willing to do the things that are required to have more for yourself and I had to realize that if I didn't see that in the people that I was hanging with what that's not going to do anything but slow me down or distract me and I want a successful bright future my mom did not put me in college for me to just lollygag with my life so I had to make a decision and it was kind of hard because, you know, you love the people that you hang with all the time, but sometimes you just got to love people from afar. It's okay. You know, don't hate on them or anything. Just, you know, Hey, you know, now's just not right. Now, not, not the time. And I'm willing to make that short term sacrifice of hanging out with, um, people who are not on the same path that I am. I don't mind saying no right now. You know, it doesn't mean no, never. It's just not right now. I got to. I got some things I have to take care of right now, and that is what makes me happy. So part of having your Transformational Tuesday is discovering what makes you happy, and that's what I love about Mary Kay, because in Mary Kay, we discover what we love, and if you don't know what you love yet, you'll figure it out in the process, and so I'm going to hold it a little bit so it's not too jumpy on you guys, but yeah, it's discovering what you love, and you know, and I love networking, I love meeting people, I love people. And I love to see people succeeding. And so I have discovered a lot of things about myself. And I love growing. And I love learning. And love learning what it takes to be successful. And I love doing. I love just, I'm a result-oriented person. So I love results. And that's what I discovered in my journey with Mary Kay. And so last night was super, super, super amazing. It was making the, learning about my takeaways were making the decision of course keeping up making sure your image is on point um some days we have rough days it's okay but you know doing the best you can to make sure your image is on point and uh, i'm trying to think what else was a um, takeaway that i took um that i have for you guys um oh your circle of influence definitely i think one of the main things that gloria mayfield told me back gloria mayfield banks talked about and a CD that I listened to, thanks to my director, Christine Daniel, who passed that CD to me a couple years ago when I was kind of lollygagging with my business. And she knew exactly what I needed and who I needed to hear it from. And 
I, I meet a lot of women who have trouble finding friends. Okay, we're gonna talk about that for a minute. Finding good friends. So, my um, director gave me the CD, and I was listening to it one day, and my the Gloria Me Fitness, I'll never forget, she said, show me your five friends, and I will show you your future. I was like, wow. She said, you know, hang around broke people, you're gonna be broke. Hang around, I forgot what the other kind of people were, but that was the one that stuck out to me the most. And uh, I was like, I don't want to be broke. That's, that's not okay. It's not cute. So I had to check out my circle and say, okay, if they're not broke, do they live broke? Do they make broke decisions? Whatever that broke is, I didn't want it. So I changed my circle real fast. I didn't tell them anything or anything. Um, I just decided not to hang around and, and do what was important to me. And the funny thing is, you know, when we make friends, ladies, and we're going out friends, what, what, what is your friend for? What are your friends for? They're supposed to be there to encourage you, to uplift you, you know, empower you. You know, they're like, they're extended family. That's it. I grew up, my family's from Africa. We are huge with family. That's, that's a big thing for us. You know, we're like Italians and like the Mexicans and everybody else you could think of who is huge on family. So friends are like an extended version of your family. So when you're hanging around and you're going out making girlfriends, what are you looking for in your relationship with these women? And I hope that you're looking for women who are going to uplift you and empower you and um, help you just and help you become a better you. If they sit around and gossip and talk about this, talk about that, and it's just negative, you got to pay very, very, very careful attention to that. I had to, it took me a minute, I, I will admit, sometimes I can be a little slow on figuring out someone and where they are in their life, because if I'm not paying attention, that's what happens. You have to really pay attention from the jump on what kind of um, mentality the that the people that you're trying to surround yourself with, where they are, what are they constantly talking about? And when they, you realize what they're constantly talking about, you have to make a decision if that's what you want to be around. And if it's not, you need to change that circle. But also, finding friends, you have to where do you find your friends? Where do you go and hang out? Because certain areas certain environments will attract certain people. And if you're in that environment and everything sounds good, looks good, you know, finding friends is also like finding a man. It all looks good, sounds good in the beginning, but then later on you'll feel the you'll find the real deal. And so if you're out meeting friends in an environment that is not uplifting and empowering, it's going to take you a little longer to figure out where they're, um, where they really stand. And when you figure that out, you got to make a decision quick because that energy is contagious. It really, really is. If you're around someone who always got something negative to say, you'll catch yourself. You will become that person. So I have to be careful, like for me, what kind of energy do I bring around me? Because, man, it's serious. Those spirits are super, are so real. Um, and knowing what kind of people you're around. And I have to be around people that are uplifting, encouraging, like, let's go, let's do this, girl. Let's do it. And not just talk about it. They got to be about it. You know, I'm from Jersey. We don't talk about it. We just be about it. That's it. So, um... That's a that's a key thing, you know. If you're looking for real authentic girlfriends, you gotta go to places that are really going that um, promote empowerment. And um, and if it's not promoting empower, they're not promoting empowerment. You're kind of just throwing yourself in the wilderness, and that's not healthy for you. Um, having goals, be be clear about where you are, and where you're going. That's something I'm doing now. I'm being very clear and transparent from the job. Not not going to let you figure me out, all of that. Look, this is where I am. This is where I'm going in life. And, you know, and I only choose to hang around with people that are in the same, looking for the same. When I say that with a woman, I watch their facial expressions. I watch their body language. And that will tell me whether they are in it. When they say, oh, yeah, me too. Whether they're real about it. And um, also... I listen to what they're saying too because you know that's important listening 
it's important. I had to learn how to listen to people. I don't do that very well. Um, so that's one of my things that I'm working on. Is just focused. I'm focused on working on is being a good listener, especially when it's even if it's nonsense. I don't. I just tune out. Um, but definitely, and I'm a kind of person that likes to hang around with no nonsense kind of people. Like I don't have time for. My time is valuable, and yours is too. So. Don't waste your time with people that are not going to value your time. And if they value your time, they're going to uplift you, encourage you, and help and and be there and be your biggest supporters in whatever your decisions are going to be. Okay. So, transformational Tuesday. Start with just making a decision. Make a decision for you. Write down what's important to you, what's going on in your life, what you don't like, what's happening, what and whatever you don't like. It's not going to change on its own. You're not, you can pray about it and pray about it and pray about it all you want to, but faith without works is dead. So if you got the faith, perfect. Now you need to do the work and make those changes so that you'll be able to experience the joy you want in your life. Oh my God, joy is amazing. It, it really is. That's a topic for another day. But um, that's what I got to share with you. Make a decision. What, what what do you want for yourself? What do you want for your um, friend? What do you want for your family? If you you know you already have family, kids, husband, uh, wife, whatever it is that you want. This is just not for you, ladies. It's also you for you, gentlemen. Focus on you. Be a better you. And trust me, they say you attract what you are. So, if you are attracting mess, self evaluate. That's all I'm gonna say self-evaluate and if you're not messy but you keep attracting mess check your environment what kind of environment do you constantly find yourself in um yeah that's all i got for you today you guys it's a super tuesday it is transformational tuesday have a wonderful day i am off to work gotta go get some leases gotta make some extra coins and um i'll see you guys later bye